All right, well, we have stopped here. Another rock art site. Now, I don't know that I've ever gone up to this one, but I want you to look at the canyon here. I mean, this place is just gorgeous. Just phenomenal. We're gonna go do a little hike later, and it's back up this way. Oh, look at this panel of desert varnish over here. I mean, that's almost pitch black. And then these cliffs here. Whew. Absolutely gorgeous. So we're not sure what we're looking for, but the path led this way. So we are not to the site yet, but they have marked, but I saw these. And maybe when I edit, I can see if these are anything. So it is quite rocky here, but we can see the little placard up there. Not a bad hike. You know, it's pretty short. So, oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. Wow. All right. <sighs> There's a couple of zoomorphic figures up there. Bighorn sheep for sure. A couple other things that are kind of hard to see. And then, got a few more, another bighorn. I think the uh, line and stuff there, you know, I'm not sure that's natural. I think this little area right here is natural. Maybe not this line, because then we have another line coming down. And some kind of glyphs there. And then we get over here, and we have, let's see here, maybe a timeline, different figures. The end we have some humanoid figures. Pretty cool. Down here below we've got the big horn sheep. Got a big big horn sheep down there at the bottom. And then over here, we'll get closer to some of these. We've got the five people holding hands, it looks like. And then again, that tic-tac-toe, multiple tic-tac-toe shape there by the bighorn might represent fencing and hunting. And that may be what the five men are doing is they may be pushing the bighorn into the fence. I have seen that motif before. Let's go over here. Now these are showing up really nicely on the camera. A oh, bighorn and probably an elk. Another bighorn, maybe. Bunch of bighorns. Lots of bighorns on this panel. So I'm very close now to these guys that are holding hands. Probably only about a foot and a half away from them. Let's see. It's kind of iffy to walk over here, but I'm gonna try to do it because I want to see these figures a little bit better that were on that timeline. So yeah, here's the end of the timeline. And I just noticed there's, I'm gonna break off from this, but there's sort of a timeline here that I didn't even notice. It's a dotted line. Goes over here. And we have this vertical line breaking it right here. It goes up to those characters. And then it goes across here. Back to the four figures that were holding hands. So are those like they've been tracking the animal? Animal tracks, maybe? Showing that. Although this end here is kind of interesting. All right, back up to our four people. And a couple more people. And then we have this pyramidical shape. 
All right, and then we're getting to the end of my reach, so I'm gonna have to move. Looks like could be a tree form, at least one of them. I'm not sure what the wedge below the other. Well, I'm not sure about anything, so let's call a spade a spade here. It was very precarious up here, so. Yeah, so we have those two tree forms and then another sort of pyramid. I'm trying to see what you guys are seeing here. Yeah. Okay. I am up against the wall practically, trying not to touch anything. Yeah, almost has legs or something going all the way down here. Yeah. And these figures, so they kind of look like humanoid figures, but look at the, it's like arms and then balls on the end, and this, these have balls on the top of them, as does this one right here. So I would not think that those were humanoid. There's a very small deer or bighorn sheep, it's hard to tell. There's, Look at this very fine pecking down in this area. Wow, oh, very small lines. You can see it coming off here to several places. I mean, these are very, very fine peckings coming down here. All right, well. I need to work my way off this precarious little ledge, so I will uh, join you again when I get down. Yeah, when I got down here, I just uh, was noticing the textures of the rock here as the sun starts to get higher and rake across it. Look at that, it's pretty cool. These are really cool. Um, I like the timeline and some of the interesting figures. A lot of bighorn sheep here. We don't have anything really high and it didn't seem to go down any further. Um, my camera's getting hot and the screen is starting to want to disappear as it does. Let me walk up here just a little ways and if I can get in the shade then, oh wait, there's more. Whew, good thing I didn't go back. Cool panel, all oh, looks like uh, zoomorphs and look at that size of that bighorn sheep there in the middle i mean he's a good oh i'd say 18 inches i put my hand up there compared to the body you can see he's pretty big it's almost like a papoose figure there oh man there's so much glare on my lens almost looks you know, I call these things based on how I can see them, and then when I edit, I go like, wow, that was a stupid thing to say. But that does look like a flower, almost. Those antlers almost make like a rainbow. The Rochester panel rainbow. Yeah, a lot of zoomorphs. You know, looks like probably nothing is broken up, even though we have that edge there. Those things are right up under, so. I can just see so much more on the back of the camera than I can with my naked eyes. All right, Carol's going down to see if there's anything else, because there is still a path. All right, I'm gonna turn this off and let it cool and uh, I'll catch you down the way or on the way back. So Carol's walking down the side here to see if there's more petroglyphs down there, but I saw this panel. Just thought it was gorgeous. The forms and stuff there. I mean, here, I thought this looked like a guy kind of a, not quite a three quarters from behind look in a big robe, a little pointed hat on. Yeah, this is just another kind of cool form I saw. These almost look like little petroglyphs, don't they? Almost like some of the little people we've been seeing. Well, Carol has said that uh, all there is down further is some modern graffiti. You can see this is kind of a 
It's really not a bad walk. It's just if you're afraid of heights. We should have been there. Yeah. Yeah, we just walked the wrong way. Regardless though, this road over here isn't much better. All right. And we'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot.